Okay, I'm here. I've arrived. I'm at the water. I can't see Nikki. There's a lot of people, but there's not a Liam. I am pretty sure I have beaten Nikki once again. Have I done it? Who's gonna win? We don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> Bonjour! Welcome to Paris. Today is race day and we're gonna race from here, the iconic Louvre, to another amazing French city, Marseille. But there's something to this race. It's a really important one. The French government have banned domestic flights where there's a competing train route under two hours. And that's why we're gonna test out this. Marseille's one of the few remaining flight routes. So in typical TPG fashion, we're gonna take both plane and train to get there. Nikki, how are you gonna do it? I'm gonna be taking the TGV high-speed rail, shooting its way all the way through France. And I'm gonna be taking an Air France domestic flight from Orly to Marseille airport. <laughs> on that note, it's time to leave. You ready? Three, two, one, go. See you later, sucker. Okay, I am really the one in a rush this morning. I've only got about 20 minutes to get my train. I need to get from the Louvre to Gare de Lyon to get my train, which is, yeah, in less than 20 minutes, which is a bit worrying, actually. Oh, well, hello from a beautiful morning in Paris. And while I would love to stay in and ride the Louvre all morning long, I've got places to be. I need to get an Uber, get me to all the airport so I can get my flight on my way. It's gonna be a tight one. Okay, there we go, driver confirmation has come through, but he is nine minutes away. It's already quite a big chunk of time and my flight takes off in about an hour and 15 minutes, so getting tight already. Okay, change of plan, the Uber driver was taking an extremely convoluted route, so I've got a bolt instead. Anyone that thinks these races are not an actual race, they really are. It is 7.28. My train is at 7.38. This train apparently takes nine minutes. I was lucky to get a metro so quickly. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna miss my train. I have to say, I was not expecting this much traffic this morning coming out of Paris, given how early it is. And it definitely means I'm gonna be cutting it finer than I would have liked. I've never been to Orly before, so I don't really know what to expect. I don't really know where I'm going. This is definitely the tightest I think I've left it to get to the airport. The train has just stopped. This is awful. It spells disaster. Some very muffled announcement in French, no, I don't want to say. Couldn't even hear the words, never mind translate it. Okay, it looks like I've made it through the worst of the traffic now, and we are gliding along the road towards all the airport. And now I can just kick back, relax. You know, Nikki's got to have the hassle of running for a train, and I'm just cruising towards the airport, feeling very calm. I might even have a little nap with about 20 minutes to go. Yeah, this feels, this feels good to me. We're pulling into the station now. We just sat there for five minutes, which really was the death of me. I am gonna make a run for it. My only chance is if the train is actually departing late. That's the only way I'm gonna make it, but it's worth a go. Okay, carriage one. I thought I'd do this a little bit fancy. Business premiere, we're boarding the train now. I think we're upstairs. Seat. It's all very French, this. 74. Upstairs. Lovely. Okay, so I've just found out I was in the wrong part of the terminal. I'm now heading to gate C, where my Air France flight is departing from. That could have been very bad if I'd gone the wrong flight. Well, we're just saying we're from Paris. A tiny bit late. I don't think it's gonna affect the race too much, but it did mean that I made the train. We're pulling gently out the station now. Well on our way. I think I might have this in the bag, you know. Well, I was cruising through security, but then my bag got stopped in the machine and that added about 15, 20 minutes to my wait time. And I'm now running for my flight because they're boarding already. And 
Oh, this is cutting it far finer than I would have liked. Well, after all that, I'm finally here. There is my plane. And I'm boarding from the ground, but I don't care because at one point I really thought I was not gonna make that flight. Come on. Ah, oh, it was all going so well. Boarding on time. I've even got a free seat neighbor, all looking very smooth, but I've just heard over the intercom or the, the tannoy. What would you even call that system? Anyway, just found out we're gonna be 25 minutes delayed in taking off, which is absolutely devastating because every minute is going to count here. I really hope that is not the difference between missing, beating Nikki, but it's gonna be very close now. Not only is this Inui TGV train fast, going at 300 kilometers an hour, that's about 186 miles an hour. Here in first class, what they call business premiere where I'm sitting, it's in a 2-1 configuration. The seats are wide, they're comfortable. I'm in one of the four-person table seats, but there's also tables for two and also single seats. And it's new, fresh. It's a lovely way to spend three hours and 18 minutes to traverse the length of a country. I know that we're racing, but I may as well give you a little tour of the seat while I'm here. I've got the window seat today, which is, you know what, actually not too bad in terms of comfort. I have a head cover behind me, certainly wouldn't call it a headrest. I also do not have any recline at all. Not the comfiest seat in the world, but not the worst. And to be honest, all that matters today is being Nicky. So now that I'm here, I really don't care. Okay, well, after a bit of a delay, we are finally moving. Looks like we're about to take off about 30 minutes after the scheduled departure time which isn't the end of the world and I just really hope that it's not going to cost me here. So unlike in the UK or some other countries, you don't actually get food included on first class train rides. And so I'm having a little journey through the train, I think in carriage four, there's some kind of restaurant car. So I'm gonna find it and get a little snacky snack. On a very short flight, I've still been given a lovely little cup of coffee and a Palais Breton, which is, feels like some sort of biscuit, which I'll try out in a minute. But yeah, very nice little touch. Thank you, Everard. It's actually a great little restaurant car with lots on offer on the menu and also little booths to sit in. There's people here working and eating. It's a really cool place to hang out, watch the views go by and have a little coffee and a snack. But for me, I've gone for a coffee au sucre and a yogurt and a coffee and a water and a cookie and it's cost me about 15 quid and I'm going to head back to my seat and eat it. pulling in bang on time, if not actually a little bit early. Okay, I know I need this to be mega quick, so I've just ordered by Uber while I'm still on the train. I can see the platform right now, so this should be good timing. It says it's a couple of minutes away, so I'm gonna be off the train, onto a cab and straight to the port. Tell you what, when you're in a rush, there is nothing worse than waiting for the queue of people to get off the plane, and annoyingly, I'm about halfway down, so there's gonna be a little wait here. gorgeous train station. I think the cars are down here, so I'm gonna go down the steps. I'm gonna get there some way, somehow. Oh, and it's... Oh. Mm -hmm. That's me, I'm okay. There's no way you're gonna beat me. There we go, I can see it. I can see the open air. I've nearly made it now. I've just got to find a taxi and get me to the old port. I don't know where I'm going. Bonjour. Uh, can I go to the old port? Yeah. So I could have opted for a public transport option, but that would have taken 57 minutes versus this cab, which is only going to be about 20. You know what? The public transport would have been a bit cheaper, but the name of the game is winning and speed. traffic we don't love parking cars causing blockages do have time for this
So, the wonderful Jeremy kicked me out in the politest way out of the taxi. He said I was going to get stuck in traffic and if I wanted to get there as quick as possible, I should get out and get on my feet. Right, that's right. Okay, I see boats, which usually means ports. Okay, definitely the sea. I'm at the water. There's a lot of people. There's not a Liam. I've done it. I think I have. I think I'm the winner. I think I'm the victor. Come on. He didn't stand a chance. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. See you later, mate. Okay, there we go. I've been dropped off right at the meeting point at the old port in Marseille. I can't see Nikki anywhere around here. <sighs> Lovely, this. Oh, it's nice when you've got a bit of extra time to spend in your destination because you took the correct mode of transport. Well, oh, look, here I am, and I am pretty sure that I have beaten Nikki once again. Come on. Another victory for the plane, another victory for me. And I cannot see. Oh, you're joking me. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, hi. Oh, having a nice little relax, are you? Yeah? How long have you been sleeping there for? Oh, it's been a good 20 minutes. Oh, devastating. So close, yet yeah, so far. Good job, though. Yeah, well done. Well, 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 Mr. Spencer, this is a rare victory for me. I feel like you always have these ones in the bag. I feel like you're starting to catch up with me a little bit. Someone needs to tally up actually where we stand now because I've definitely let my lead slip. But let's break this one down. So timing wise, I was ahead of you by about 20 minutes, but I'd love to hear about your experience flying. Well, to be honest, my experience couldn't really have been smoother. I actually left it a little bit late to get to the airport, but my bolt cost 24 quid from the Louvre to get to Orly. Didn't have any bags to check in, so I whizzed straight through and was onto the plane in very good time. Unfortunately, we did have about a 25-30 minute delay once we were on board, which has actually proved to be the thing that cost me here. Having said that, once we landed, again, I was out of the airport within five minutes into a taxi that took me here in 20 minutes. So again, I couldn't have done much more, but that little delay on the ground is ultimately what's done me here. Nikki, what about you? My journey was pretty pleasant. I hopped on the metro. That was a little bit stressful because I thought I was going to miss the train, but it was quite easy. Uh, the train itself was really lovely. Three hours, just under 20 minutes. Um, very comfortable you don't get food actually so I had to go buy some myself but the first class carriage I was in was lovely amazing views of France so it's a 10 minute taxi here very easy to the old port of Marseille and that was it beat you well since you won you can go and buy me some nice dinner as we're here on the port well let's go find ourselves some fish shall we seafood let's do it 